Hello, this is Padre Alexander from the Padre, now available on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and PlayStation Four, and you are listening to the Budget Arcade Podcast. <laughs> Hello gamers and welcome to Budget Arcade, a free-to-play gaming podcast to help you navigate through the growing realm of free-to-play games. I'm Scott. I'm Jeff. I'm Elliot. And welcome to episode number 35. Just to recap, we play a free-to-play game each week and then we rate and review it. Elliot, what was this week's game? We are playing, or we played, Asphalt 9 Legends. Uh, This is a racing game developed by uh, Gameloft Barcelona, but it was published by Gameloft Proper. Uh, originally released on July 25th of 2018 for the iOS phones, uh, eventually uh, got ported to Google Play, and then on October 8th of 2019, it came to the Nintendo Switch, which is what I think all three of us played it on. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the ninth main installment of the Asphalt series, but this is the 16th overall Asphalt game. Good lord. So, uh, I think it is on like 21 systems. Do you guys want to guess what system it first was available on? You'll never uh, guess Engage. It. Yeah, yeah, it's the engage. You nope, must have did not it look it up. I or just somewhere deep in my stupid brain, it was there. I never. And heard also, the had you not Scott mentioned, had it you last not week. said, "I'll never guess," I probably would have said GBA. Uh it's on the. It is on. I don't know if there was a GPA one actually. Now that I think that twenty. There's like twenty systems, twenty one systems or something like that. You can play this series on. I have never heard of this until. Last I, week, I so. heard it because I do remember playing it either on the DS. It was like a, actually, I'd want to say it was GBA because it was a 3D racing game on the, on the Game Boy Advanced, which was kind of amazing. Uh, and it's also been around a long time, obviously on phones. It's been around forever. Yeah. Are you guys, are either of you guys big racing um, game people at all? I, I'm not a big we'll racing person at all. We'll get into my favorite racing game as we get into the review of this because it, borrows a lot from the best racing game ever made but I occasionally mean, i i enjoy racing games but i don't like i'm not big on the real realist, realistic racing games like i don't like the for, mm-hmm. the forzas um just because you know I, you're more I, like I, yeah you're more racer. like you know, I, I prefer an arcadey racer and this is arcadey so i prefer kart racers yeah. that's like the only ones i've ever spent time on hmm. well Makes sense. Let's get just, into gameplay yeah. so I can stop pretending that anyone cares what game I'm going to compare it to. Gameplay. <laughs> this game has, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five different gameplay modes. Um, you've got the quick race, uh, the split screen, daily events, multiplayer, and your career. Um, I want to touch on pretty much all of these just because these gameplay modes are what will ultimately bring up what the replayability of this yeah. game is before you jump into that let i i do want to touch on what this actually plays like and it plays like burnout three uh it it's agree, burnout it three and burnout three is my favorite racing game ever made uh they've tried to duplicate but no one's been able to uh it's fast-paced uh gameplay it's super arcadey the difference here is they actually have real cars this is where burnout 3 had fake cars that way they could do insane crashes like these just amazing crashes and the crashes in this game look pretty good the controls now like we said all of us played on switch so we had physical controls so keep in mind this may be different on mobile but this game controls really well uh you know right trigger uh accelerates left trigger is brake and drift uh and then you've got your bump your left bumper is your nitrous 
So as you drive recklessly, you gain nitrous boost, which is pulled directly from burnout. But the one thing they do a little different is how you use your nitrous. You can double tap it and it will spin the entire bar, which I actually kind of like. Uh, they also have almost like a Gears of War mechanic. Like in, in Gears of War, when you reload, if you time it, you get a faster reload and I think even a damage buff. In this, it kind of has the same thing. You tap your nitrous and there's another spot where you can tap it again and it'll do like even better boost. Uh, there's perfect ramps nitro. you can flip. Yeah, perfect nitro. There's ramps you can flip over. Um, and yeah, you can do barrel rolls off yeah. of ramps. You can, you can even, there's actually, spin if you horizontally. Uh, double tap your, yeah, yeah. If you do your, if you double tap your handbrake, your car will actually do a 360 degree spin. And if you time it before you hit one of those jumps, you like spin through the air <laughs> ridiculously crazy. Yeah, and that how mechanic it is. is there to take down your opponents as well. If you double tap, you'll do a spin move and wipe out people around you. Uh, which while I don't remember there being that sort of maneuver in burnout, the whole takedown mechanic again, just pulled right from burnout three. Uh, that being said, it does a pretty great job of simulating the good things about that game. Uh, there's a great sense of speed as you're flying through town, especially when you're boosting and uh, the crashes look pretty good uh your car gets severely mangled when you wreck and and also when your your races are really short like i've had some last 30 seconds and up to maybe two minutes so definitely feels like this is built for mobile for shorter play sessions i have to agree or disagree with you um on controls for me and i don't know if it's because i just don't play a lot of racing games but i i hated the controls i felt like i was sliding on ice a lot and again, I don't, I just don't play a lot of racing games, so I don't know if that's like normal. But to me, I just like the drifting mechanic itself did not seem like appealing. It was really easy to do. I felt like I could do it without any effort, but I drifting, I hated it. I really did not like mm -hmm. the controls of the racing. Well, and so. I'll say that it took a little bit of time to get used to not trying to drift like I was playing Mario Kart. Uh, but once I got used to it, I kind of figured out how to do it in a way where I'm not sliding into the wall or when I needed to do it, when I didn't need to do it. So I think I, I agree that the, the drifting may not be as intuitive as you would expect, but overall, I mean, the steering was tight. I felt like I was in control of my vehicle. Quick question though. Uh, need for speed. Does that borrow a lot from burnout oh, as well? Cause that one is actually my all time. Well, favorite racing. so actually criterion who made the good burnout games, uh, actually were moved over to work on some of the newer Need for Speeds. So, like, the most recent Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Um, yeah, that's my favorite one right the there. The one that came out, like, 10 years ago? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the one on uh, yeah, Xbox Yeah, that's 360. the one that was made by Criterion. So, the same developers made those games, so that's why they're so similar. My only thing that kept me from liking that as much as Burnout 3 was there was no crash mode and the wreck physics weren't as awesome as they were in um, Burnout. Burnout had these dynamic crashes where depending on where you hit someone, uh, depending on how fast you were going, like no crash looked the same. Like your car would get destroyed in a different way every time you crashed and it just was so groundbreaking. Let's start with some of the play modes. Uh, so there's actually back up. Okay. So remember I, I called one game a hurry up and wait game mm -hmm. a while back. So this game has that sort of dynamic as well because you have what's uh, it's called gas in this. Uh, each car has six charges and each time you race that car, it expends one of those car charges. After you reach zero, you have to either wait till it refills after a given certain or given time frame, or you have to pay the uh, in-game currency to refill it. Uh, also, some of the other modes, there's like tickets that you use to play in those modes, and the same thing happens with that as well. So the first mode I'm going to talk about is the quick race. Um, there's 42 challenges within that mode. Uh, you can also do a custom race in there. That mode does not take any of the gas away from any of the other modes. So you it's can play also, that one. It's also one of the two mo modes you can play offline, too. So I think that has yes. something to do with it as well. So, 
Sorry. Yeah, and that's that's off, but... no, no, that's fine. Um, but yeah, they you don't expend any gas on any of your given cars through that mode, so you can play that one freely as much as you'd like. Uh, then you've got the split screen, which is also is that the other one that you're yep. thinking, Elliot? That's the other one. Offline? Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that one you can play locally with up to four players. And that would, obviously, you're going to do that on the big screen. You can't do it while you're doing handheld mode. But um, I didn't try that. Did either one of you try that to see how that played? It's probably, you know, you probably use the Joy-Cons for that. And because Yeah, and I hate that. I I hate those little things. I got giant hands, man. Yeah, well, I mean, but at least with the controls being so simplistic on this game, there's only, what, four button, three buttons that you use and then Mm -hmm. the joystick? Yeah, it's probably not too bad. So, yeah, it's probably not too bad. If you've had the thing that Jeff has where it's got that attachment now, that makes playing, the controller a little bit bigger. There's a game called bigger. Fast RMX. Playing that with one Joy-Con will cripple you. It's awful. <laughs> this isn't so bad. Then we've got daily events. Um, there's five events within the daily event. Um, there is a free-to-try event where it doesn't cost any tickets. And those are your daily event tickets. Uh, you start with 10. As you go down, you know use them all up you either have to pay in-game currency to replenish that or you wait the time frame for it to replenish um but you get the trip right the free try one um there's a daily car loot which that one is the one i recommend everybody do because if you can complete some of the challenges on there uh usually it's like you know complete the race is one of the challenge um, beat the race within you know, under a certain time frame, and then the third one is def- uh, beat the race um, faster than that, um, which all three are pretty much doable if you have a decent enough car, and they will help you unlock some of the later cars as well. And then there's uh, three different rotating events as well, and I believe they rotate daily, if I remember correctly. I'd have to look at it, but it looked like they were daily, yeah. Yeah, and each one of those, um, as you, I believe if you, the faster your time is on the track, put into a ranking system against other people who have done it. I know in the um, the free try one, I'm in the top 75% percentile on that one. I don't, did you guys play that one or not? I only I played did, it once just to I get a feel for it. I did in the top 100 percentile, which means... I'm not okay, better than yes. anyone. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah so I think yeah, I, I got to like the near that too. Yeah, and I got to the top seventy-five percentile. Um, I know that I believe the event runs for a week at a time, and at the end of that week, you get uh, rewards depending on which percentile you're in. Uh, let's see. There's the multiplayer. Um, in the multiplayer, you've got leagues. There's the bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and legend leagues. And within the legend leagues, you've got top 3,000, top 1,000, top 100, top 50, top 10, and then number one person. And how much depending money do on you where think, you... How much money do you think those guys in that part of the league spent on this game? It had to have been like a small fortune. I, You know, I, I'm going to say it probably a lot, but also I think you could get to that point with enough play time Oh, I think the, the playtime you know, the, on their level. I think we, given a week, we we are really close to the threshold of like going up that steep mountain. It felt like at least because um, I think that mountain yeah. gets real steep real fast. No, I don't doubt that. Uh, in fact, um, so career mode is basically basically your single player as you're going to level up through that. That's what's going to unlock some of the cars for you and all that. Uh, there's five different chapters, and at the very end of it, it says there's more chapters to come. Obviously, they haven't gotten to that point yet, but yeah, currently and, there's five. And each chapter has between like five and fifteen races in each of those like cup things. So, yeah, yeah, you've got like different sections, and yeah. then each there's a lot. Section there's has, a like, lot to the career mode. Fifteen different races. Yeah, and there's different flags that you have to yeah. earn within the races. Sometimes you have to be the number one person in the race, or sometimes you just have to get five perfect nitros or get a 360 spin or whatever the requirements for that flag is. And as soon as you earn one of those flags, it unlocks like the next progression on those maps. I, in the career mode, I only got 2% done. 
in the week that we got to play. How about you guys? Or I didn't guys even, even I didn't even see what the percentage was, but I did like four of the cups or whatever they're called. I didn't even know where to look for okay. a percentage. So yeah, I, I did. Um, there's like a slide bar at the I, very I, bottom, I and it shows you what in, percentage you're into at. or through the second cup. Then I tried some multiplayer, and then I did the thing where you buy in, and I ended up in the hundred percentile. That's about it. Now right. the cars, the way you unlock cars, and this is weird. I don't really like it. Uh, and so oh, I hated it. The way you do it is packs, and you can earn these playing the game or as we'll get into in a paywall section, spending money. And then you open the pack. You don't get a car when you open the pack. You get like a, you get blueprint. a, a blueprint it's a and blueprint, you need like right? 10 yeah, of blueprint. these or more, depending on the car to unlock the yeah. car. So you're getting a random chance of getting a piece of the car you want. It's awful. Okay. So just, okay. Yeah. That, that part of it is awful. I agree. But Doing events and your career and your um, multiplayer will actually unlock those blueprints a little yeah. bit faster. But not yeah. much. It's... Yeah, not much. Well, okay. So let, let's let me let me reel it back just a little bit. So there's as you get your blueprints, you know, however many it takes to earn the car. After you earn the car. You can t- continue to collect those br- blueprints, and you get another set of blueprints will level your car up to the next star level. Yeah, um, even each more. Each car, yeah, yeah. Well, each car you can upgrade. You get to upgrade the uh, the acceleration, the top speed, the I guess the nitro. I guess how much, how fast it goes. I, that I didn't understand. There were four different ones. I don't up. remember what they were, though. Handling was handling ha- one of them? Yeah, handling was the fourth one. The nitro was the, the other one as well. But the nitro, I didn't understand if it was, like, a longer mar- nitro bar or if, like, you it, I, like is more efficient as it uses the nitro. I only I, I focused on leveling up one car, and I don't know what it did. And I leveled it up, like, to the max of the first star, and I, I still don't know if it made a difference. I know my, right. my rating went and up, I, but... I didn't. I didn't notice and a difference at all. Did agree with you completely. View? The upgrades to me didn't make a a difference as far as what I could feel in the car, like whether I was racing as the starting car or another one I booted up. I felt like the sense of speed was the same. I didn't feel like I necessarily was that much better. Uh, so one thing we got to say is, as you're playing, at least in the career mode, as you're going to a race, it has a recommended ranking that they want that you should have your car at when you race it. And you need to purchase upgrades to increase your rating. Uh, But I didn't even notice having that much of a problem with a car that was underrated in that event, in those events, at least initially, I never hit a wall. I I didn't, I didn't until the online stuff until I started playing multiplayer. And then those guys were just, and they were a lot bigger of a difference. So maybe if I played something that was ranked 700, my car would be a 600. But once you jump online, and your car is like a 600, they're at like 1200, you know, and there were just half the pack when I played online, there was no catching up. Yeah, it this was not fun. Is, well, and we'll get to paywall, but. Mm. So I unlocked the uh, Camaro LT and actually got enough blueprints to be able to jump it up to the two star rating. The upgrade passed, uh, what was it, uh, the um, five rank on the on everything, um, like in the six rank, whatever, is actually fairly noticeable in difference with speed and acceleration and all that. Once you get it up to that point, it is definitely noticeable, um, but it does take getting into the second star before you really see that huge jump in difference. The other thing, I the one last thing I would like to say about gameplay is I don't know if either of you guys used the touch screen Not at for all. this. I never took it out of the dock. Oh yeah, I didn't. I wanted to ask you guys oh, about that. The, the touch screen is phenomenal. The touch screen controls here, everything is touch screen. Like to, to play on the menus and stuff. Oh, it's well, great. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the best no, no, use that, of touch screen. Yeah, I did use that. And a and a Switch well, game I've ever it's seen. It's a mobile game. Like I wish it's a mobile game. Port. Yeah. yeah, they're but it's done very well. So would you say this is the 17th game though? I mean, they better be, they better have it down by now. Yeah. 16th. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, Elliot, though, whenever you're picking your car, you can also turn it on to touch controls. I saw that, yeah. I was not interested in that. Now, <laughs> okay, so you didn't try that? I, no. I don't think any of us tried that to see not, it even I'm not how a it played. Masochist. I didn't even think about <laughs> that. Yeah, I didn't even remotely think of that. I, I thought about it, but then I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do it. Just, I, it. It didn't appeal to me. Yeah. Hey, well. There's two different currencies in this game. You have the ace chips, I think they're called. Sure. Question mark? Yeah, and then the coins, right? Yeah, and the coins. So the coins you use to purchase your upgrades on your car. You can purchase more coins with the ace chips. Uh, the ace chips can be used to purchase your packs to be able to open up new cars. Uh, they can be used to refill your gas. They can be re- used to refill your tickets to be able to go into the um, daily events. Um, what else? I think, think that's what else you can packs, right? I mean, you yeah. Can buy the... um, yeah, yeah. The, the main thing is the buying packs, the packs, which but they're super expensive for the chips. It's crazy. Now, I will say one thing: the game does. You can so a lot of these free to play games you can't gain the currency you pay real money for in any other fashion but this game does allow you to earn that premium coin through playing the game and accomplishing goals and stuff and early on it gives you yes. a lot pretty frequently and i'm sure well, that yeah, as you get yeah. deeper into the, and even in my limited play time i started noticing it slowing down um and i imagine it gets to a crawl you know, gets to creeping uh, slowly once you get later in the game. Well, what you're given so many in the beginning, but like the price of like the packs is mm-hmm. is ridiculous. So you're earning yeah, currency 65 a lot of for it. the main one. Yeah, you're earning a, a bunch of currency, but like you need to earn a just a boatload to even buy a pack. It's the it doesn't you know one does not equal mm-hmm. one in this instance at all. But yeah, you could. Keep there your are gas uh, full. daily goals though that you can. Yeah, and that's yeah. relatively inexpensive to do. It's like three chips, I think, yeah. right? Something like that. It was nothing. Yeah. But you do have daily goals that you can earn uh, chips with, and you get like five chips for each goal that you complete. Some of the goals though require you to actually purchase something, and that's you know yeah. counterproductive on that. Um, you do, however, get a free pack pull every four hours. That's true. And it does upgrade, yeah. right, uh, based on your level. Is that correct? Yes, it does. Yeah. So you're, it upgrades based on your garage's level, which basically is your level. Um, but as your garage levels, that's something we missed in the uh, gameplay, but as your garage levels, you can get higher tiered cars. You start with um, tier D, I believe it is. Yeah. And yep. then it goes to C, B, A, and then you got your S tier. Um, but as you level up, you know, depends on what you got. Um, what tier or uh, which uh, league did you guys get in on the multiplayer? So I got the silver. Same. Okay. So that's probably, you know, the new people are going to get into silver and probably stick there. Did you guys, I know Jeff started playing a little bit later in the week than we did. Um, Elliot, did you collect your rewards from getting silver? Because I know it reset yes. like on uh, Thursday. Yeah, now, I did. those rewards are actually pretty decent. I don't they know were. if you got a lot of good stuff too. Yeah. yeah and no, I think that's where, I want to say that's where this game shines, is as long as you do some of the events and the... Uh, multiplayer stuff you're actually going to gain like if you wait long enough for the rewards to come to you you actually gain quite a bit of stuff from that now um we kind of hinted at this before um, yeah about the multiplayer though this is a pay to win game you the money you spend directly yes, impacts your doubt. gameplay uh and if you if you get online Absolutely. and you play Half that pack is well, going to be... I wouldn't say it affects your uh, gameplay. I would say it affects your car, but, I mean, you could still drive like crap and Well, lose. okay, sure. Sh- you sure, could say that I... about anything. But what I'm saying is, if you spend two people of equal... Okay, three of us. We're, we're decent at games, yes. right? 
and even Elliot doesn't play that much racing. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I he would... spent enough money, he could beat the pants off of us who honestly yeah. do play racing oh, yeah. games. Yep. So it's pay to win. Yes, I Just agree. Just because you can still Absolutely. lose after you pay doesn't mean it's pay to win. Or doesn't mean it's not pay to win. I completely agree. No, no, I did not say it's not pay to win. I'm just saying that, you know, even if you have that really nice car, there's a ceiling where if you suck at playing this game, you're not going to do I that I don't great. think there is a ceiling. I mean, because how bad do you have to suck? You know what I mean? Because if, <laughs> if you suck that horribly at this game, you're not going to spend money on it. You know what I mean? Like, if you pick it up and you think reverse is forward and forward is reverse, left is right and right is left you're going to be terrible and you're never going to pick it up again. Uh, I don't know. I mean, look at these kids who play Fortnite and they suck and they're still showing they're using their parents' money. money and that's, I, you don't have any proof of that. Those kids kill me. They, so, <laughs> all right. I don't know why we're talking about Fortnite. The point is if you spend money and you face off against someone who's of equal talent, they will crush you if they spend money. Yes. So imagine playing Tekken, one of Scott and I's favorite games. And he and I have played it so much, we're of sort of equal level. But he plays as Brian Fury, and I'll play as Paul Phoenix. And I've spent some money getting some super gi that just wrecks him every time. It's bad game design. But at the end of the day, if you can pay money to be better at a game, it's bad game design. And like you mentioned, there's a mode that you buy into with coins. And early on, you get coins pretty frequently. But I don't, you know, if you play this game a lot, you may end up at a point where, in order to play, you have to shell out real money. Uh, I was not aware what Scott said that there was a mode that doesn't cost any money or gas or anything. So that's at least good. But the the to me, the microtransactions are the weakest thing about this game. Yes. Yeah, I agree. Replayability. As far as the replayability, I want to say the. Uh... The events, the, um, sorry, hold on, let me find it. Yeah, the daily events. So there's, you've got the daily events, but there's also weeklies in that same section. I don't know, even know why they call it daily events whenever some of them are actually weekly things. But the uh, one that's uh, the free to get into, um, right now it's it hasn't uh, reset yet. So we haven't gotten our rewards from that one yet. But I know, like, me being in the 75 percentile on that one, I think I'm going to get like 2,000 of the uh, premium um, that you pay for currency, which isn't that bad. Yeah, I mean, and like I do, I did dump all over their microtransactions. But like I said at the beginning, this is one of the few games where you can earn the premium currency by grinding. And if you really love the game, you can grind, 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 grind and get what you need to compete. But most people aren't going to want to put that kind of time in. And while the gameplay, in my opinion, is good, it's not good enough to warrant that. You know, I, it's a, so. There is quite a bit of replayability, though. I'm, I'm just going to say, you know, you got 42 challenges in the quick races. You've got a ton of stuff in the career. I mean, we barely even scratched the surface of the career. Like I said, I only hit 2%. I think you guys probably were the same or lower. And yeah, there's a lot to play in this game for sure, which is one of the yeah, I I think, even, good qualities. I didn't even it. clear the first chapter. Yeah, I agree. yeah, I there's a either. lot of replayability, and the actual the thing is is that the races are so short, it's so easy to just do the one more thing, right? I'll do one more race, and then it's over. And yes, like some of them were extremely short, like thirty seconds, forty five seconds, yeah. and then you the high end ones, yeah, they were a little too short. But then the longer races would still just be two minutes. You know, you never did more than one lap uh, of anything. And it yeah. I don't even know if they had laps. It just felt point to point. And so. Yeah. Be, and, and and that's totally because it's a mobile game that it has those short sort of sessions. So if you're playing on console, it actually kind of feels out of place. Because when you're sitting down in front of your TV or even when you're playing Switch in bed. Uh, a longer gameplay experience is usually what you look for. And that, as far as I could tell, doesn't offer it. I agree. I completely agree. Now, you remember how I said that uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was my mm-hmm. favorite racing game? 
did either of you get to the point where you started unlocking the uh, races where the police no. start chasing you? No. There. Okay, so there is a mode. I Spoiler believe alert. Chapter Scott, geez. Yeah. It's Asphalt sorry. 9. I believe Chapter 4 actually has... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I believe that like, Chapter 4 or something like that actually has a full mode where all the races are nothing but trying to run away from the police. That's kind of so cool, I guess. I, I like that aspect. I but see the thing about Need for Speed Hot Pursuit that I really enjoyed was the fact that I could be the police and mm-hmm. have to take down the criminal that's trying to leave. And I don't think that this game has that, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Judgment. All right, Elliot, does this get your seal? I'm not giving it my seal. Um, I what think a surprise. Well, oh, you're gonna break the tradition. Well, look, I I think um I think there's a lot of exploitive like things to this game the stamina style system with the gas the premium currency just kind of like bogs it down um i don't think the racing is bad i don't i don't think the controls are like that great they're like a three out of five maybe i mean the racing is kind of fun some of the races are too short some of, yeah. overall it's just not a game i have any interest in playing after this week and that's really what it is you know yeah. so this game really needed to be um really need to be a really good like a great racing game for me to to like it i think to begin with so it's not terrible but i think there's a lot of negative stuff about it that kind of brings it down all right jeff how about you uh huh i'm kind of like 50 50 because i really enjoyed the racing for the most part um there were a couple sections that were short like he said and there were and sometimes you need a longer race to get a feel of the track and to get back in the first place but outside of the gameplay and the microtransactions are just awful the the fact that you can improve your car by spending real money to me is kind of a deal breaker um and like elliot i'm not going to pick it up and play it anymore there's better racing games out there maybe not for free but you know it Nah, this does not get my seal. All right. Um, I really enjoyed playing this game. Um, I will probably pick it up again in the future, mainly because it's the only racing game I have on the Switch. Uh, I like the feel of it, and I really want to see how far into the game it goes with all the uh, stuff that's not unlocked for me yet. I I will not be paying any money to play this game. Spoiler alert. (laughs) But... I, I it's going to get my seal just because I, I like the way it feels. It, it handles really well, and there's so much replayability on it. Um, it's and, and it's the only like for a free Switch game, which I don't think there's a whole lot of free Switch games. There's a few, but like none it's of them. Growing. Yeah, but the ones we've played so far just I, they don't they don't have the replayability factor that I would like out of free to play games, and this one actually mm-hmm. does. And I do want to mention, as you said that too, uh, we talked about this a little bit. I don't have a Nintendo online account, and I was able to play this online uh, without any even prompt to get Nintendo's online. So you can keep that in mind if it is something you're looking to do. Uh, You don't even need an online account to play. Yeah, which is completely different from, like, say, Xbox and PlayStation, right? You... Yeah, have to have uh, online for a lot ability of stuff. to play. I never not had online on Xbox, so I can't answer that. But probably well, I, I, I have I, not had it before, and I can answer that. Yes, you cannot play online. Okay. There you have you it. could the the most you could do on Xbox if you don't have online is you can message your friends, and that's it. Yeah, I don't know enough about PlayStation Online. I've always had it too, so yeah. Not All right. Help uh, we didn't have any listener the same commentary this week. I, I will say too. I think part of that though is Nintendo doesn't actually care about online, where as certain you know, Xbox sort of innovated in the market. They sort of invented console online gaming, even though the Dreamcast did at first, uh, and actually the Sega Saturn before that had online gaming. But I just don't think. Nintendo cares enough that they may not even know that this game is out here <laughs> and people are playing it without 
you know, paying. And then I and I tested Smite as well on the Switch and played that without having an online subscription. So it's funny to me. I think it really only affects like your Mario Karts and your Splatoons and your you yeah. know Tetris ninety nine and those those uh, free games well, like that. I mean, like I said in a previous episode, like I think if it's a third party game that has their own server set up you directly connect to those servers and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. All right, so next week we are going to be playing a mobile game called Horror Field. Chess Rush. And that's... What is it called? <laughs> no. Horror Field. H-O-R-R-O-F-I-E-L-D. Horror um, Field. It is a... Yes, it's it's a, it is a... Oh, it looks it awful is. too, by the way. Spoiler alert. Good. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a scary, quote-unquote scary game, so we're going to be playing that for the uh, Halloween season. Uh, that will be our Halloween episode right before Halloween. Multiplayer that is. survival horror game. Can we? Oh, we're going to play together? Is this like sure, Left 4 Dead? We'll try. It does look like Left 4 Dead, to be honest. It looks like a top-down... Okay. You know what? I, it's got 4.4 cheapy... 4 stars... I out saw of five. that. Yeah, we talked. Oh, no. We were talking about that earlier. Look yeah. at this. Okay. That first one star uh, rating though is pretty funny to read. You want to read it, Elliot? I don't I have it do. up right now, but it was funny. Okay. Was it the one on right. Google Play? Yeah, it was the one on Google Play. I think it was the first review. It was just kind it's of like the. There's well, there's one that says quite enjoyed it uh, the first few minutes of gameplay no. until I've unlocked the second playable character. I can't read this on our PG podcast. Yeah. But he did not enjoy the game. <laughs> All right. We want to thank you for joining us. If you're listening on iTunes, we ask that you would leave us a review. Five stars, of course. But you could also leave a review on Spotify and Stitcher. We'd appreciate that. Uh, real quick, I think I found the one you're talking about. It's by James Conkey. Yeah. On Google yeah, Play. Yeah, yeah. Hey, good. do you like ads? Do you like games that say they're a multiplayer, but all the other players are bots? Do you like your progress to be staggered by outrageous wait times to motivate you to buy in-game currency with real money? If so, then this is the game for you. Yet another waste of potential in favor of blind greed. I'll be willing to give a better review if you at least play uh, let it, if you at least, okay, if you at least us play with real players. That's how it's written. It is. Uh, I'm sure you will when you finish polishing your pay to win model for shame. So that's what we're looking forward to. Thrilled. <laughs> we're not even going to be able to play together on this multiplayer game. Oh, good. Uh, maybe we can connect. We'll see. Yeah. Also, um, you can follow us on your favorite social media platform. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash budget arcade, Twitter and Instagram at budget arcade. We also have a website, www.budgetarcade.com. Which uh, Scott and Tessa and later this week myself, we all put up reviews for games that we didn't review on the podcast, but um, just kind of came up. So, can Check I put out. a review of a non-free game? Um, sure, why not? Okay. I'm about halfway through Iconoclast on Switch. Oh, do you like that? I am enjoying. You'll it. have to I wait almost for the review. That. I was. I ended up getting stranded sales because it was on sale instead, but. It's a decent Metroidvania yeah, uh, with good graphics and fair music. Um, it's not bad. There's some interesting mechanics. Like, yeah. obviously, I'm playing it, so I enjoy it. Right. It, but it's not going to be the next Hollow Knight or anything like that. All right. You can send any hate mail to show at budgetarcade.com. And music is by Stibbage. You can download his music at metroidmetal.com. And game on. <laughs>
You know what this game was missing? Shells. 